He's caring more about wokeism than military excellence. He does nothing in the South China Sea. He's not putting any additional tariffs. In fact, he's trying to repeal them that Donald Trump put on steel and solar panels for imports into America. Joe Biden is doing the bidding of Xi Jinping at every single turn. So let, let me ask you just another couple questions. Sure. Has Joe Biden in any way, shape or form condemned the Belt and Road Initiative or has Joe Biden admitted that the virus came from China? Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative would be covered under that curbing Chinese expansion, which I mentioned earlier. I think you're trying to you're trying to play a very semantic game right now with no, did no. he condemn this specifically so, so when he broadly condemned matters. general expansion? What you call semantics, I call truth. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Cook. Pardon me if I didn't pronounce the name properly. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Charlie Cook takes down poor Biden students. Okay. Let's give this a try. How you doing, Charlie? Thank you for coming out today. I think I'm going to be the first disagreement. So, um, uh, thanks my for question, being here. Thank you. Uh, my question is: So, during the presidential campaigns, uh, Trump and Republicans criticized Biden by saying that he was going to be a, uh, soft on China. Um, so, so far, I just wanted to list out some things that he's done against China, and then get your opinion on that. So he uh, condemned the uh, Uyghur genocide right off the bat, Secretary Blinken did. Uh, and he's waging a tech war with China right now by reevaluating our supply lines uh, of microchip production so we're not relying on China. Uh, as of five hours ago, they've raised the idea of boycotting the Olympics in China. Uh, and he's uh, raised the idea of a conference of democracies to curb Chinese expansion, whether that be military or influential, like what they're doing in uh, neocolonialism in Africa. And this isn't something that's uh, different for Biden. He has a history of supporting genocide victims. So if you take a look at what he's done with the Bosniaks in Bosnia when he supported them in the war with the Albanians in Kosovo, I mean, he has a, a really strong history of standing with oppressed people. So do you think these criticisms now, now that you know all these things that he's doing, do you think they're sort of falling flat, at least with the China thing? Is that the whole list? No, there's more. I just wanted to pick like as many as I could in 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. Um, has he called China our enemy? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's implied. No, he hasn't. He I said he's rival. I think it's implied that if he wants to stop Chinese expansion, they're an adversary of the United States. No, no, he agree? said they're a rival. Has he called, uh, has he called China our enemy? I, I think that's just a semantic argument. No, it's not. He said, I refuse to call them an enemy because they're an economic rival. Let me ask you another question. Has he signed an executive order trying to close Confucius Institutes in America? Uh, the Confucius Institutes is an ongoing debate right now, so we'll have no, to No, no, it's a very simple there. debate. They're military institutions on college campuses, and Joe Biden supports them in America. Let I me ask you another question. Support Does he support, support tariffs on imported Chinese goods, yes or no? Uh, he supports a tech war. Tariffs? No, no, tariffs. No, no, tariffs. America, Answer so. the question. Uh, probably not, no. Okay, right, well, so that's evaluating. soft on China. When Blinken went up to Alaska to meet with China, yes. did he even respond when China made a fool of our country and said we're a bunch of racist bigots according to our own language? Did he respond to that? Yes, they did. How? Well, they replied to it. They By admitting it China. and basically saying to China, you know what, you're right, we have a lot of problems to correct. But we always correct them. For example, the civil rights. I mean, look at look how far we came from the Civil War. Are, and, are you and comparing rights. what's happening right now to Jim Crow the 1960s? No, I'm saying we okay. have a dark history, but we've come far no, from no, it. I, I, I agree with that. So let me just, be, let me just ask another couple questions, yeah. because has Joe Biden supported military movements in the South China Sea or stood with the people of Taiwan as the Chinese Communist Party has threatened Taiwan to obliterate them off the face yes. of the earth. No, they haven't. Yes, so, no, they he, haven't. He no, has so Taiwan it. has been singled out for destruction mm -hmm. and Joe Biden has done nothing to stand with the people of Taiwan. Let me ask you another question. I, I has jo let me ask you a question. Has Joe Biden explained the now revealed emails that show that he's probably a 10% holder in a Chinese Communist Party company, thanks to Tony Bobulinski. Has Joe Biden explained that? If they want to go to court for that, they can. If no, 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 I'm asking a evidence. very, has Joe Biden he explained he that he's to. probably a minority partner in a Chinese Communist he Party He doesn't have company. to explain it until he's formally accused of it in a court of law. I think unsubstantiated claims shouldn't be entertained, wouldn't well, no, you No, no, it's substantiated. It's a laptop that was owned by his son. Well, why don't they take it to court? And to, well, they, they are. And so I let mean, me ask you let me ask you another question though. So your basic premise is Joe Biden's totally tough on China, everything. Yeah, that's basically your contention. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm saying the premise was that he's going to be extremely soft, but no, he's as beyond we can soft. See, he's owned by China. He's not just soft on see. China. He's a subsidiary of the Chinese Communist Party. He's he's an employee of the Chinese Communist Party. Can you so everything Xi Jinping wants, we are doing. 
Can he is pandering to racial division in our country. He's emasculating our military. He's caring more about wokeism than military excellence. He does <laughs> nothing in the South China Sea. He's not putting any additional tariffs. In fact, he's trying to repeal them that Donald Trump put on steel and solar panels for imports into America. Joe Biden is doing the bidding of Xi Jinping at every single turn. So let, let me ask you just another couple questions. Sure. Has Joe Biden in any way, shape or form condemned the Belt and Road Initiative or has Joe Biden admitted that the virus came from China? Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative would be covered under that curbing Chinese expansion, which I mentioned earlier. I think you're trying to you're trying to play a very semantic game right now with no, did no. he condemn this specifically so, so when he language broadly condemned matters. general expansion? What you call semantics, I call truth because language is the way that we communicate values with one another. So let me ask you this question. Has Joe Biden admitted that the Chinese coronavirus came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? If evidence shows that, he will admit No, has it. Joe Biden even mentioned the fact that this virus came? You're wearing a mask up to your eyeballs. Yeah. Is that because of China or not? Well, I think it did come from China, but where it came from originally in no, China, so whether it was let me ask you a question. or man-made. What has Joe Biden done to hold China accountable for the greatest epidemiological Pearl Harbor in American history? We'll have to see. It's only like two okay, months we'll have to the presidency. See. So well, let me get this straight. China yep. invokes an epidemiological Pearl Harbor, yep. and we'll have to see. I have, to, I, I have a question for you, though, over that. Trump, uh, in return, uh, in, the, in the Taiwan, two questions. Taiwan. Uh, We're talking Joe, about the virus. I would like your yeah, answer. I know. The virus is really important. Yeah, it right? is. Right? Obviously, you take it seriously. Yeah. And so, is China to blame? I think China is to blame, yeah. Why, why can't Joe Biden say that? Because it's a, it's a very diplomatic issue. He has to wait until the evidence is there. It's free. It's make a, a diplomatic yeah. issue. Could you imagine after Pearl Harbor, Franklin, Do Franklin Dono Roosevelt? You know, it's a diplomatic issue that Pearl Harbor was bombed. I think Could it was clear that the Japanese intentionally attacked Pearl Harbor, but whether the Chinese intentionally, which I believe they did, by the way, I oh, believe they did. Okay. But until there's evidence to support that, that can be globally spread, I think it's irresponsible of Biden to make a statement on it. I think he's waiting for the facts to get out. Okay. Yeah. That's stunning. Um, so you wanted to make a point about Taiwan. Yeah, so you said, has he condemned the Chinese aggression against Taiwan? And yes, in the town hall, he mentioned that he condemns the Chinese trying to violate the uh, one China or the two China policy uh, with China and Taiwan. He condemned it in the town hall. And then I also wanted to ask you one follow-up question with Trump. Yeah. Trump, in an Axios report, uh, reportedly, uh, allegedly, uh, gave the Chinese a green light for their actions in Hong Kong and the Uyghur genocide in exchange for better leverage in his trade deal, which ultimately flopped, I believe. Okay. What do you think about that? It's not true. Well, I mean... Well, first of all, I said allegedly and reportedly. Yeah. And Donald Trump was more tough on China than any other president in American history. And he was unafraid true. to call it the China virus. Joe Biden has always been very close to China. He said that, quote, China's rise is a good thing for America. Can you explain? I'm curious. Take as much time as you need. If you have any problem with the president's son flying on Air Force Two with Chinese bank officials and returning on Air Force Two with $2 billion in an investment fund. Does that bother you? So when I just mentioned allegedly and reportedly, you denied it as being fake. It's not true. Like, I, I it's don't not true. I, I agree. But, but as long what? As it's, as Joe long Biden's as president. So let's focus on who's yeah, in charge exactly, right now. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So is Hunter Biden. Yeah. Like, can you explain that for me? Because I'm really interested. Yeah. So all of those things are also allegations. Right. And it's kind of no, hypocritical. No, no. I, I, I just said facts. I didn't say that there was pay to play. I said They're we know facts. because of flight logs, Air Force Two, Chinese bank officials go on with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. They're not facts. Though. They fly to China. And two days later, he returns with $2 billion. Does that bother you? But that's not a fact. If, if that what, what, is allegedly what, what, part, what happened. You're entitled if, to your own faith, opinion, not your of, own facts. So tell me where I was wrong with that. Out of good faith, if that is allegedly true, I have a problem with that. Yes. Well, then you should but, do a lot more research, man, because that's just the tip of the iceberg of the Biden crime family. They should bring it before court. I'm sorry? They should bring it before a court of law and test it in court. No. I don't know why they're so afraid of courts. I mean, they no. lost well, They lost all of their election well, First of all, they're too. not afraid of courts. Second of all, we have a weaponized and politicized Department of Justice in our country. And, oh, by the way, Hunter Biden is under active federal criminal investigation right now. We'll see how that one works out. So I, I have another question. You call it semantics. I call it very important that he doesn't call it a rival or an enemy. You say the Confucius Institutes is something that is yet to be debated, even though Joe Biden has done nothing against it. Um, the, the bigger question I guess I have when it comes to the Chinese issue, do you think Joe Biden is better equipped to handle China than Donald Trump was? 
Yeah. I would love to ask another question. Um, did you vote for Joe Biden? Yeah, but I was a Republican for four years. Okay. I switched to Democrats no, no, don't three months don't ago. No, no, don't boo, don't boo. No, no. Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm, yeah, I know. Okay, that's fine. Um, why did you vote for Joe Biden? Uh, oh, this is important. We, we can, it's important. Why did specifically you for his foreign policy, uh, foreign policy, and because I believe uh, I believe that Donald Trump was doing a lot of damage to the country. Okay. Foreign so, policy wise. So foreign policy. I'm just uh -huh. curious because I don't get to actually a chance to talk to Biden voters very often. Um, so it's kind of like meeting some like wow. Um, did Did you think Donald Trump did a good thing with the Abraham Accords, with the historic peace deal with Israel, UAE, Bahrain, and Sudan? Was that a good thing for the country? Uh, for the governments of the Gulf states and for the government of Israel, it might have been a good thing, but I don't think it solves any uh, issues with, with people in the region. Okay. Was it a good thing that Donald Trump was the first president of both of you and I lifetime to end endless wars and not declare a new war? I think, in, uh, I, I think the, the idea of an endless war is something that's pushed by more isolationist groups. I don't agree with ending endless wars. I think the United States has a duty to the world to act as the quote-unquote global policeman okay. and to, you know, stop things like active genocides going on. So y you're okay with Afghanistan just perpetually happening? No, I, guys, guys show, show some respect. He's, guys, please. Guys, come on. Don't act like college campus leftists, please, okay? Seriously. Let him an opportunity to speak. I'm letting him finish his thoughts. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. So you think that Joe, you voted for Joe Biden for foreign policy. Yeah. So, so not starting new wars was not like a game changer. I don't. For I, I mean, I come from a country. I came here as a refugee from the Balkan Peninsula. I'm guessing. Yes, because from the Bosnia. Way you described, because yes, yes the, because the, there was the a Bosnian war issue. there, and you know, it was McCain, Lieberman, Biden, and Dole that were the advocates of sending U.S. troops to Bosnia. And if it wasn't for the U.S. sending airstrikes to Bosnia, I wouldn't be in the United States. I'd be in a mass grave. So I don't think wars are inherently bad when they're fought against bad people. Hmm. Yeah, I, I probably agree with that. I would also contest that. What, is, what does victory look like in Afghanistan? A uh, stable democratic government. Okay. That's where you and I are going to have clarity but not agreement tonight. The role of the United States military is not to institute democratic governments across the world. It's to protect the American people. That's, that's the mission number one. I'll, I'll, I want to get some other questions. Let me just, let me just ask one other thing, though, So I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Um, did I say anything in regards to the Chinese issue that you've never heard before with Joe Biden and Donald Trump? No, I know, uh, I know about all of the issues. I just haven't really looked into the Confucius Institute stuff yet, but uh, I'm, I'm okay. waiting to see more, more stuff come so up. So I want to thank you for coming and asking these questions. I'm going to say this, though. When you look objectively at how Hunter Biden received cash payments from Chinese state bank oligarchs, the $2 billion, Joe Biden probably owning a 10% of a Chinese Communist Party company based on Tony Bobulinski, former business partner's own remarks, Joe Biden saying it's a good thing when China gets stronger. If you actually cared about holding China accountable, I think a fair reading of the facts, you'll realize that Joe Biden is a wholly owned subsidiary of our greatest enemy, the Chinese Communist Party. But I do want to thank you for your boldness and being here tonight. And I appreciated the conversation. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I will first say the student is smart. Because it's, he came prepared. Let me use the word. He came prepared, unlike some other students who I've seen, who come and debate with Charlie, whereas they are not prepared. They, don't, they have no clue. They're ignorant of what they're, all, what they're talking about. But this student is actually, is actually intelligent. I will I'll give him that. He's really intelligent. Um, the, the place I, I do not support or I do not agree with him is the moment of if Joe Biden will be... Um, better president than Donald Trump when it comes to handling issues with China. Joe Biden is showing signs of weakness when it comes to China. There is something fishy around his business or his arrangement to China. But when it comes to Donald Trump, Donald Trump has been stating that fact. Donald Trump always tackle China face to face. He don't hide it. He's not, Donald Trump is not corny. Donald Trump is not someone who says something out and do something else behind. No. Donald Trump have always been saying that this virus is from China. 
you have owners be pointing it out that this is China virus. So when it comes to tackling issues with China, Donald Trump is the best man for the job. He was untruthful right there, and he knows he was untruthful by using the word that Joe Biden is best to tackle China. No. Joe Biden is showing signs of weakness. We all know that. Uh, we can all see the facts, what is really happening now in America. So this entire video is actually amazing and respectful because there was no um, insults or really, really hit. The debate was really heated. It was heated, but there was no abusive words around. Uh, no one walked away. It was respectful. And I, I really respect Charlie for that. And also the student. The student is intelligent. He came prepared. He's a refugee. And it feels like Joe Biden is a is a really good man. Like I, I won't I won't hide that. Joe Biden shows um love and empathy for people who are like refugees. That you, you have to give it to Biden that he's really good at that. But at the same time, America right now is totally different for America like when Donald Trump was in, was in power. It's totally different. Things have changed. A lot of things have, have, have gone out from how it was before. People are no longer afraid of America again on, on like before when Donald Trump was ruling America. So we, we can all see what is really happening right now. Uh, testify that Joe Biden is a good man, but he's not too fit for the job. Like we all, we all agree with that. He's doing some amazing things, but he's not fully fit for the job. But well, this entire video is actually interesting to watch. I love how it was a respectful debate. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I